This is a short message to register my thanks and gratitude for all the donors who donated for me to be to buy the new iPad Air with one terabytes of memory. In fact, uh, what happened was I had to buy two new iPads because the iPad Air, which was a new model, um, had face production problems uh, due to the screen. So the worldwide supply was very low. And when they were finally being uh, produced, um, Apple decided to open its own store in uh, TRX. And so all the new models were sent there. So I had ordered my um, iPad Air from Harvey Norman. Um, I normally buy equipment from Harvey Norman because unlike Apple, uh, they provide a five-year extended warranty. Apple uh, warranty uh, comes with one year. And uh, if you buy Apple Care, it's two years. So um, because of the delay, um, I kept using my old eight-year-old iPad until it actually conked out and I couldn't use it anymore. And uh, because I have low vision, I'm a visually impaired person, I couldn't edit on my iPhone. So I had no choice but to buy an iPad and I bought actually an iPad Pro uh, with an M2 chip, the same chip as the iPad Air. The, uh, the iPad Air also has an M2 chip, but the iPad Air, which I ordered, had uh, one terabyte of memory, which um, took quite a while to arrive. Uh, but the iPad Pro uh, only had 128 gigabytes of memory. It was actually an ex-demo model at Harvey Norman, which they sold me at a special price of uh, uh, 2,000 ringgit. And uh, the Apple uh, warranty had already expired, so I bought... Um, Harvey Norman five year extended warranty for that. So that cost me an extra 2000, which I um, paid partly from my own money and also partly from donations that uh, arrived after I ordered the iPad Air. I actually ordered it on uh, March 11th because it was launched on March 8th. Previously, I had. Um, ordered on January 29th, uh, iPad Pro with 512 gigabytes of memory uh, because that was uh, at that time the amount of money uh, donations I received you can afford that and the iPad Pro with one terabyte of memory was I think 2000 ringgit more and uh, we didn't have sufficient funds for that at the time. So anyway, we had, um, that had a long delay arriving because they had actually discontinued the model in anticipation for the launch of the new M4 um, iPad Pros, okay? Uh, which they announced on, on March 8 together with the new iPad Air. So anyway, with the money that was available and uh, donation receipts, I was able to upgrade uh, to the iPad Air with one terabyte of memory. So as far as I was concerned, memory is quite important because I produce large files, uh, for large video files, you know. So yesterday was a rather large uh, video, th more than 35 minutes long. And uh, with the new iPad, uh, it was a breeze to produce. It was so fast and slick and smooth, you know, no lag and importing pictures. And uh, I had two embedded videos, so importing the Im embedded videos, you know, just took seconds instead of, uh, you know, with my previous iPad Air, you know, I had to wait like as long as five, eight minutes sometimes, you know, to import a photo because it was just on its last legs. So I'm really helpful. Um, I've got two new iPads now, the iPad Pro and the iPad Air. The iPad Pro has M2 chip and the iPad Air also has M2 chip. The only thing is the X demo model um, has very little memory, 128 uh, gigabytes, but the iPad Air has one terabyte and that makes editing so easy and smooth and slick and and no lag, you know, it, it was it was uh, actually a joy to edit that 35 minute uh, video um, last night. I think it's the longest video I edited with the new iPad Air. Okay, so thank you so much, all the donations you do, 
come have come uh, you know that you made have come to good use and i can more easily and uh, uh, quickly produce more videos uh, to benefit all our subscribers so thank you again so very much for everybody who donated